Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this is my brief daily message of hope. I have just begun a busy Friday here before the fifth weekend uh, in Easter. Uh, had, had Mass and uh, uh, confessions this morning on the, uh, the Memorial Day of Our Lady of Fatima, as we uh, remember uh, her a powerful miracle and visitation uh, to the three children in Fatima in Portugal in 1917, beginning on this day, May the 13th. Uh, and so we also heard a wonderful lesson in the gospel today that reminded me of an old country song I used to play a long time ago uh, when I played in a country and western band in Memphis, Tennessee back in the 1970s before I went to, to seminary in the early 1980s. Uh, I played in a country band when the song was making the charts and round the, uh, was on everyone's mind back then. A blockbuster song called that uh, Johnny Lee wrote, a great songwriter from uh, Texas City, Texas, and he's still with us. I think he's 77 years old now. A song called Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places. And that song uh, touched people's hearts in a major way back in the late 1970s and uh, it won the grammy award for a best country song in 1980. Uh, it was displayed prominently in the movie urban cowboy with john travolta and deborah winger looking for love in all the wrong places uh, people identified with that yearning to fill an empty place within us uh, the, the movie didn't go as far as I did in my homily this morning to say that there's only one thing that can fill the emptiness in our soul uh, that we yearn to fill with the things of this world, but they just don't satisfy us. As a matter of fact, the things of this world cannot satisfy the yearning that we all have uh, to be in contact with our Lord. Uh, the empty place in, in us is a God-sized God hole. Uh, and only God can can fill. And in the gospel today, uh, Jesus tells his uh, apostles at the Last Supper, we're reading from John 14 today, uh, as he was preparing to go out into the Garden of Gethsemane on that Holy Thursday evening, where he would be arrested and taken off and uh, would be uh, mistreated all night long. And the next morning, he would be uh, brutally mistreated uh, and nailed to a cross and died. Knowing all that was about to happen, at the Last Supper, Jesus said, Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there were many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and as surely as I go, I will come back to you and take you to myself. And you the way, know the way where I'm going. And Thomas, one of the twelve, said to Jesus, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And so we remember today at Mass that uh, Jesus is with us every minute, every day. And since he is our God and our Lord, he knows the way home. So when we get caught in moments of darkness where we're confused and don't know where to turn, the Lord's with us and he knows the way home. When we get to the point where we're so beaten up by the dark forces of this world and we don't know which way to turn, the Lord is still with us and he knows the way home. Uh, when we are blinded by the, the razzle-dazzle of this wor world and can't see, the Lord is still with us and he knows the way home. So we hold fast to him and he carries us home in his arm for he is the way, the truth, and the life. And he's with you today too. So God bless you, and uh, I hope and pray to see you uh, uh, tomorrow. I think I'll be with, with Dot, <laughs> uh, my rescue dog, tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see you then. God bless you.